All right, guys, it's game time. Join me here at the mat. Quadruped position. We're going to line up those knees right below the hips, hands, wrists right beneath the shoulders. Nice, solid position here. We're going to try and stack those feet nice and flat like we would for a squatting position. So let's go ahead and drive those hips back. Try to maintain a flat back and then drive forward. Good. Hips all the way back. We should feel a slight stretch in those hip flexors. Possibly in the lower back there as well. This is one of my favorite warm-up exercises. Very low impact, nice and easy. Nice and controlled. We're going to go for a few more reps. Good. This is your workout here today, guys. So I want you to take it at your own pace. If at any time you're feeling like you're a little overwhelmed with any of that, the work we're doing, just take a set off, take a round off. That's more than okay. Again, you're here for yourself. We're going to go for 45 minutes today. If you have to hop out a little early, I encourage you to make sure you get a, a quick stretch in at the end here. Good. Last one. Next movement, we're going to roll into a one leg rock. So if you guys have taken class with me, you know this is one of my favorites. We're going to go ahead and drive one leg out. One knee is up. Same exact principle here. We're going to shift the hips back and forward. All the way back. Good. And we're starting to feel those hips loosen up here a little bit. We're going to drive our bottom or our backside all the way to that back wall, back window, whatever you got behind you there. Let's try two more on this side. Two. Nice and easy. One. Let's switch. Go about six on this side. Nice long leg here. That back leg acts as a kickstand. Let's drive back. Good. So I hope you guys aren't nervous for today. You guys are going to do just fine. Full body strength, full body cardio. We're going to go body weight all the way. As you guys, as some of you guys know, those are some of the most challenging workouts. I'm going to be giving you guys modifications throughout. Let's do one more. Just to make sure you guys are ready to go. An option to an easier exercise at any time if needed. All right, next movement. We're going to go glute bridge march. Let's go ahead and lie flat. We're going to try and bring those heels close to the bottom. Let's drive those hips up. We're going to march. So go ahead and join me in a nice slow pace. If you're having trouble marching, I want you to just hold. Good. Helping to engage those hips a little bit more. If you feel comfortable, increase your pace slightly. And always remember to steadily breathe through these movements. Keep your hips up, belly button towards the ceiling. We're going to go for another five, four, three, two, one. Drop those hips and rest. All right, beautifully done. We're going to roll right into our next exercise. We're going to hop up to our feet. We're going to go wide stance around the world. One of my favorites here. Go ahead, sweep those arms right along the ground. Open up as tall as you can. Same direction. Pushing those hips all the way back as we make that giant circle. Good, two more in this direction. Nice and easy. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Let's switch sides, switch directions. Go ahead, let those knees follow your motion. Hips go all the way back. One more big round loop. And rest, nice. Next, we're gonna get into some higher tempo movements hip openers. We're going to swing open those knees just like a door hinge. Nice and wide. Good. All right. I'm hyped to give you guys a good workout here today. 45 minutes strong. This is just the beginning. Hope you guys are ready. Two and one. All right. T rows. We're going to fold up chest over top. Hips are slightly back. T rows. We're going to bring those arms and elbows out. Nice big capital letter T right here. Squeezing right behind those shoulders. Shoulder blades come together. We're going to go for a four. Hold that squeeze for just a second. Recruit those muscles right behind that upper back. Two. One. All right. Stir the pot. Let that one arm dangle. Doesn't matter which one. Nice and loose. Nice big circles. Make a fist and let it hang. Good. Stir the pot. 
and switch sides, switch directions. Nice big loops here. You can go a little smaller, whatever is comfortable for you, and switch arms. Stir that pot, make the fist, let it hang. Good job here, team. A couple more times in this direction, then we're going to switch and reverse. All right, good looking team so far. Keep up the good work. We're going to move into one, or I'm sorry, two more exercises here just to bridge us into our workout today. All right, hip swings, just like a kettlebell swing. We're going to drive the arms back, little to no knee bend, moving at the hips, thrust forward, squeeze the glutes back and up. Good. Join me here, guys. Big, giant glute squeeze at the top. We're looking straight ahead, right? No strain in that neck. If you see me looking, it's to check your form. <laughs> Good. Three, two, one. Good, and shake. And if you guys are just joining, feel free to mute your mic for me, please. Last exercise, bow and arrow. We're going to pull back, elbow back, reach, follow with the eyes, and return. Last warm-up exercise, last chance before we get into the meat of our workout. Two more, follow, really feeling that shoulder blade activate, switch sides, let's go five, good. Squeeze, release, and back, good, you're starting to get your mind right, starting to get that mindset of crushing this workout, doing the very best you can, just remember why you're here today, two more, and that's to go all out 100%. If you need that time to rest at any time, take it and jump right back in with us. All right, shake it out. First set we're going to work with here, balance. So at the, men, at the beginning, I mentioned balance is going to be part of our, our workout today. Not going to be super intense as far as getting the heart rate up, but still important. So we're going to go one leg balance. I want you to raise your left leg. If you want, you can raise it a little higher. Arms come out. We're going to go 30 seconds on the hold. Good. So balancing here. We're trying to grip with that right foot, toes and heel grounded into the floor. Try and balance the best you can here. Squeezing this glute, staying stable. You guys are doing an amazing job here. If you wobble, that's okay. Correct, we got less than 10 seconds before we switch sides. The higher you go, the more challenging it becomes. Three, two, one, let's switch sides, good. Awesome job, I want you to plant, toes curl, grab the floor, and up. Balance work here, this is our easiest version of balance. Maybe you feel those quads starting to burn here a little bit. That's when you know you're really getting deep into that movement. Go ahead and focus on that balance, try and point this toe straight up. Guys are doing great, we're halfway through. I challenge you guys to go ahead and do this for two, three minutes at a time. Good, we're gonna go for five, four, three, two. Good, only 30 seconds for us here today. Shake it out. We're gonna go switch legs on the squat jump, all right? So check it out. We're gonna start balancing on our left leg. We're going to balance. We're going to squat jump up, brace, land. We're gonna hold for three, two, one, and up. But if you need to use that kickstand, use it. Come right back up. Three, two, one. Hop. Three, two. See, I need to use that kickstand. Good. Again, balance, squeeze. Three, two, one. Up. Your option, you can simply step instead of jump. Three, two, one. Up. Hold. Go. We're starting to get used to it now. Good job. And go. We're going to go a little quicker. Go. Hold, kickstand, hold, nicely done. And go, hold, balance, go, hold, hit that center of gravity, chest over top, squeeze that belly, go. Awesome job, go. Now we're gonna ramp it up, go. Step if you need to, eliminate that jump, go. Go, go. Go. Three more. Go. Hold. Hold. Go. Hold. Go. Hold. And rest. All 
right, great job. Balance on that portion is over. Now we're gonna get into some reactionary work. So we're gonna go ahead and test that brain, see how quick it's firing today. This gives us one last chance to make that mind-body connection to get us going strong. So exercise number one, touchdown squat. We're gonna go left, when I say left. When I say right, we tap. When I say both, both hands come down, okay? Now we get the gist. We got left, right, both. Ready, set, go. Left, right, 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 left, both. Hold. Good. You guys did a great job on that first round. We're going to go rapid fire now. Here we go. Right, left, right, right, both, 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 left, right, both. Both, both, and rest. Good, shake, nicely done. First round over, switching to our second movement here. We have a balance hold here. So we're gonna go, starting on our left side, we're gonna hold here, we're gonna jump right, hold. All right, so starting here, ready, set, go. Jump, hold, jump, hold, jump, hold. Good, keep going. Jump, hold, two, one. Jump, hold. Bounce right back. Jump, hold. One more. Jump, hold. And switch out those legs. Good job. When I say jump, you jump. Hold for a couple seconds and go right back. I'm sorry, jump right away and hold. Here we go. And go. Jump, hold. Jump, hold. Jump. Hold, jump, hold, jump, hold, jump, hold, and rest. Good job, guys. Check out those legs. All right, here we go. We're gonna get into our big portion of our workout today. Our primary movements here are gonna involve both sides, arms, legs, you name it. So block number one, we have four exercises. You guys ready to see? We're gonna go 12 reps of each. You guys are gonna join me through. So it's not timed. Go ahead, I'm gonna show you one exercise here. Grab your mat, and we're gonna go through. All right, so 12 repetitions, let's check it out. We're gonna lie flat. We have two lat pull downs. So we're gonna go one, two, and then push. Okay, so that's one rep. We're gonna do 12 of those. Your option, feel free to push up on the knees. You guys ready? Let's do this. Two lat pull downs, one push up. Just try and stay on my pace. Ready, set, let's go. Two, one, push. That's one. Two, one, push. Two, one, push. That's three. Two, one, four. Two, one, five. Two, one, six. Two, one, seven, stay strong. Two, one, eight. Two, one, nine. Two, one, remember, push up on your knees if you need to, two more. Two, one, push, last one. Two, one, push. Great job with exercise number one. We're gonna hop up. We have a lateral squat here, six on each side. So here we go, join me right now, we're gonna go six, six. Good, join me here. Five. Four. Four. Three. Three, use those arms, pull them all the way out for counterbalance. One more on each side. We're gonna get right into exercise number three. Good. Reverse lunge two times plus one drop squat. So check it out. It's gonna be lunge, lunge, drop with both hands, okay? Regroup yourself. We're gonna go lunge, lunge, drop. That's one repetition. We're gonna try 12 times. Ready? On my count, stay with me. Let's go. Lunge, lunge, drop. That's one. Lunge, lunge, drop. Two. Lunge, three, 
Four, good job keeping your chest up. Quick drop as you step. Five. Six. If you need to, just limit your range of motion. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more rep, here we go. 12, 12, 12, nicely done. Exercise three, let's move on to our fourth and final. We're gonna go ahead and grab our mat. We're gonna start kneeling. All right, we're gonna try for surrenders. We're gonna keep our elbows out, knees down. So we're going to step, step, right, all the way down, okay? We're gonna go 12 times, stepping up with our left leg six, Stepping up with our right leg six. Ready, set, let's go. One, two, good. Try to keep those elbows out. Three, alternating your legs as you step. Four, try to stay tall. Six. Good, two more. Last one, 12 and down. Awesome job guys, shake it out. That was round number one. We did 12 reps of each. You guys did an amazing job. We're gonna switch things up here. We're gonna go lightning round. So we're gonna try all four of those exercises, as many reps as you can in 30 seconds, okay? So we're gonna go A, B, C, D, all the way through. I'll make sure you're on the right page as far as the exercise goes. So let's lie on our chest, lat pull down twice, plus a push up. Let's regroup and do this. Okay, so we're gonna listen for the bell. That's gonna let us know when to transition to exercise two. In three, two, one, let's do it. Two, one, push. So this is a lightning round. I wanna see how many you can get. Two, one, Push, two, one, good. This is your workout. If you need to push up on the knees, go right ahead. Two, one, all the way up. We're halfway through. If you need to take a rep off, take it and then get right back with us. Five seconds before we go. Lateral squat is next. All right, let's get up. Lateral squat. We're gonna go side, to side. Remember, lightning round. I want you guys to amp it up here. Chest up, core tight. Driving your hips all the way back. Knees stay out. Great start to round two. We want to exhale as we come to the top. Try and hold a pace that works for you. Five seconds. Reverse lunge to drop next. On the bell, let's go. Reverse lunge, lunge, drop. Good, reverse lunge, lunge, drop. I want you guys to drop as quick as you possibly can. Quick drop, good. Keep going guys, you're doing great. Big lunge, big lunge, great job. Keep it up, keep it up. We're gonna go all the way through. We got five more seconds. All right, great job. We're gonna go into exercise number three here. We're gonna move right on. I'm sorry, exercise number four. We have our surrenders. Let's go ahead and drop down. Up and drop. Up, drop. Alternating your legs as you step. Five seconds left. Rest, all right, that's it. Take a little breather. I want you guys to regroup here in between rounds. We're gonna move on to block number two. We got four new exercises coming up with a similar format. We're gonna take a deep breath, quick water drink. Four new exercises. We're 20 minutes in already, good job. All right, so first exercise here. 
We're going to go with an alternate, alternating lateral lunge. So check it out. We're going to go side to side. So we're staying in our stance. We're driving our knee right over our toe right here. Okay, so that's exercise number one. We're gonna go 10 on each side, staying on my count. All right, exercise number two. We're gonna go right into reverse plank here. So reverse plank, we're gonna start right here. We're gonna knee up, up, tricep down. You guys hear me okay? I'm not sure why I keep getting muted, but we'll roll with it. All right, alternating lateral lunges here. Let's go ahead and start. We have 20 reps, 10 on each. Ready, set, let's go. 10, 10, nine, nine, eight, eight, six, Six, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. All right, let's get into our reverse plank here. We're gonna go with our feet out. We have one, one, and dip. Okay, if you need to, you can bring those feet in. We can go up step. Step, tricep dip. All right, so those are our two options. We're gonna roll through those exercises here. We got 20 reps, you guys ready? Let's go. One, one, dip. Two, dip. Three, three, four, four, six, six, Up and down and push. Eight, nine, nine. Remember your option here. You can bring your knees up and we can just step, step, and drop. All right, keep going. Almost there, we have three more. Three, two, and one. Good job. All right, shake out those arms. We're gonna go into our skaters here next. So for our skaters, nice and simple, we're gonna go 20 reps. We're gonna go one, one, two, so go ahead and join me. Three, three. You can tap your back leg if you'd like, or you can keep it suspended in the air. Seven, Eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. All right, good job. Fourth and final exercise, high plank position. So for this high plank, we're gonna go with our, with our bird dog here. So we're going to extend our opposites. We're going to go one, one, two, two, three, three. Try to keep your hips up. Four, five, five, your option here. You can stay on your knees. Seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Nicely done. Four exercises there in a row, 20 reps each. So we're gonna recap, we got a lightning round. We're gonna go 45 seconds on each exercise this time. So we're going a little bit harder. We're gonna go with those same four exercises. All right, so let's regroup. 45 seconds, we're starting with our alternating lateral lunge. All right, there is that bell. We're staying right here. So reps, we're gonna try and get as many as we can here. Inside leg straight, outside knee goes right over your toes. Good, all the way through our 45 seconds. If you need to, take a big, tall stand up, 
breathe it out, and then get right back to it. Try to keep your back nice and flat as you shift your weight. Great job. We're going till that bell sounds. I'll let you know when we get there. All right, there is that bell. Shake it out. We're going to go right into two. Reverse plank position. All right. So we're going to go down. We got one, one, dip. Here is your option. Bring those feet in. We step, step, drop, push. Okay? Take your option, the one that's right for you. Good. Point those elbows towards that back wall, like I'm doing here, just to get those triceps working. Good job. Keep it up. Five seconds left. You guys are doing amazing. Exercise two is almost over. We're going to go right into skaters. All right, let's get up. Here's that belt. Skaters, we're going to shift side to side. There we go. How quick can you get back to that other side? You guys are doing amazing. Keep it up. If you want to, you can step and tap your back foot nice and easy. We have about 25 seconds left. We're really going to test those lungs here, test that aerobic capacity. Good job. You guys can push through. I know you can. Keep up the good work. I'm right here with you. We have 10 seconds left. Speed it up. Accelerate. This is that lightning round. Here we go. Here's that bell. All right, we're going to write down bird dog. All right. High plank position. Alternate. Your option, come down to your knees and just lift, 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 lift. Good. Take your option here. This is your workout. Good option here. There's about five seconds on the clock. Take whatever options right for you, just keep moving. And rest, all right. We completed block number one here. We're gonna move right along. Block number two is next. Grab a drink, you guys earned it. Good, go ahead and regroup. Take your time here. Give you guys another 20 seconds. All right, so we're gonna work on our tempo here. We're gonna spend some time under tension with those muscles, they're really gonna feel it. So we're gonna stay in our squat position here first. We're gonna go down for a four count, up for a four count. So it's super important that you guys stay on my cadence and you don't speed it up because that tension, as it builds, the longer your muscles are under that tension, the more strength you'll build, the more power, the more tone you will sustain that muscle size, even without those weights that we use in the gym regularly, okay? So that's what we're gonna go through. We're gonna start with a squat regular position. We have seven reps, four down, four up. Let's do it. So find your position, feet right outside of your hips. Let's start on my count. Four, three, two, one, one, two, three. Squeeze your glutes, one, two, three, four, Four, three, two, that's two reps. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three. Go to keep your arms out. Three, two, counterbalance. One, two, three. Awesome, two more reps. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three. Last one, four, three, two, one. One, keep your toes down into the floor. Three and four, good job. Push-ups on that same cadence. So I really encourage you guys to drop down to a modified knee push-up if you need to because we're staying slow. We're staying seven reps, four by four. All right, let's do it. Starting on the toes if you'd like. Knees or toes are fine. One might count. Four, three, two, 
One, one, two, three. Don't beat me to the top. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three. If you get tired, drop to the knees. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three. Those muscles might be starting to shake. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three. Let's go for one more. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, and rest. Great job. Shake it out. We're going to go one more round. Same thing. Now that you guys know what to do, we're going to go right into it. Be right outside of, the, out of your hips here. Let's do it. Four. Three, two, one, one, two. Keep your big toes into the floor. You will feel it more in your legs. Good. Four, four, three, two, one. That's two. Four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, four, three, two. Get low in your squat. Three, two, one. Four, three, two, this is five, three, two, we got two more. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, good job. Last one here. Speed is not always the key. You wanna stay under control, toes down, up, and rest. Push up, seven reps. Let's see if you guys can do it. I challenge you to get all seven. All right, knees or toes. This is your choice. You'll get benefits either way. Ready, set, let's go. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. That's one. Three, two, one. One, two, three, two. Three, two, one. Four, three, two, three, four. Three, two, one, four, three, two, four. Knees if you need to. Two, three, four, four, three, two, five. We got two more. Three, two, one, one, two, three, six, four, three. Stay slow. Four, four, three, two, Seven, good job. Open up those arms nice and wide. Add a couple shoulder rows and arm circles. Stretch out those shoulders, keep it loose. Great job. All right, we're gonna move right into some core work. I know you guys are excited to hit that core, hit the abdomen here, get the glutes, the lower back. So we're gonna go with four exercises here. We're gonna go through them nice and steady. We're gonna go for about 25 seconds on each round. All right, so exercise number one. We have our high plank. It's very important here that we spread our legs apart wide for a strong base. So instead of keeping them close, we want to bring them out wide so that we can sustain a plank, okay? Our movement here, we're gonna go to the corners with your thumbs up to the corners of the room. So join me here. Try to keep your hips square. Your option, drop to the knees, bring your hips down, Squeeze your glutes. You might need to separate those knees a little bit too. Great job, we have about 10 seconds left. Keep your core engaged, squeeze your glutes. Four, three, two, and one. All right, great job. We're gonna go to a side plank variation. All right, so with our side planks, we can either keep one knee down and lift the hips, or we can stack. So here's our challenge here. We're going to go knee up, knee drive, and back. If you want, hold your plank. Here's how it looks right here. So you guys can join me here. Let's go ahead and begin. Knee up, keep your hips up. If you want, you can try this on your toes. Nice and balanced. Try to keep your hips up. You guys are doing great. 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, 
four, three, two, one. All right, rest. We gotta switch sides, we gotta even it up. So take your pick, take your option. We're gonna go one knee or both legs up. Let's go ahead and begin our 25 seconds. Knee up and down. Don't forget, keep your hips up in the air. Don't let them sink. Good, you're feeling it right here in the hip. Feeling your core stabilize as tight as you can. Let's get this exercise over with and move to our fourth exercise. Good, about five, four, three, two, finish up your last rep and rest. All right, beautifully done. Last one, we're gonna go with the butterfly sit up. So we're gonna go ahead, shift gears here. We're going to put those feet together. Try and bring those knees down as far as you can. We're going to sit back, touch the mat, up, touch the toes, all right? 25 seconds, you guys ready to rock? Three, two, one, let's go. Touch and up, reach and reach. So when you come up, try to keep your chest up, touch. Good, 15 down, 10 to go. Three, two, finish up your last rep and rest. All right, great job. We're gonna go to core number two. We're gonna work with some new exercises here. So we have leg lifts. We're gonna lie on our back. So lying on our back, 25 seconds. We're gonna lift up, three, two, one. Let's go. Up, three, two, one. Up, three. An option here, you can bend your knees and go quick, three, two, one, and tap. Here's your option, bend your knees, it's a little bit easier. Three, two, don't lift your hips off the ground, keep them steady. Three, two, one, last rep. Three, two, one. All right, great job. Exercise number two, we're gonna go alternating oblique crunches. So here we're gonna lie flat, keeping your feet flat. Bring your heels close, arms stay right here on the mat. We're going to side crunch those obliques. Okay, let's join you here. Tuck your chin, side to side, hitting those obliques. Ooh, we can feel this one. Ooh, good job. Keep those arms long and flat along the mat here. Got about 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah, good job. That was a good one. Hit the spot. All right, exercise C, we're gonna go low plank. We're gonna go leg raise. All right, so we're gonna really attack these glutes here on this one. So low plank position. Lift, legs nice and straight. Join me here. Try to separate your hands. Don't touch them. I know you're praying right now to get you out of this pain, but you guys are doing great. We've got about 10 seconds left. Seven, six, four, three, two, and one. All right, knees down. Okay, go ahead and stretch it out. All right, so I was gonna give you guys an option since I know you guys very, very well, we can do our finisher right now or we can do another round of core. Since I know you so well, we're gonna do one round of core and then if we have time, we'll do our finisher. So let's go right back here. We're gonna go with those side oblique crunches and then leg lifts, okay? Here we go, let's hit that core a little bit harder. Ready, set, go, 25 seconds. Keep those arms flat right along the mat. 25 seconds. Total, keep breathing, Chuck, tuck your chin here. Reach as long as you can towards your heels. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Leg lifts, let's do it, 25 seconds. And go, up, three, two. We're gonna go quick, up, three, two. If you need to, tuck your knees. Three, two, and tap. Up, 
three, two, one. Up, three, two, nicely done. About 10 seconds on the clock. Let's finish up this exercise here. Two, one. Three, two, one. Last one. Up, three, two, rest. Okay, low plank. Third and final core exercise, low plank, straight leg lift. Let's attack those glutes here. Ready, set, let's go. One, two, keep your hands separated, great job. Legs stay straight, squeezing those glutes, stay strong. Keep your belly button down. Don't rotate those hips. Less than 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, and rest. Okay, guys, we're here to our finisher. I was originally going to do 100 reps as our finisher for, for uh, if we had time. I'm going to knock it down to 50, and I'm going to give you guys the option to do 100 reps. So we have five exercises. We're originally going to do 20 reps. We'll just scratch that and do 10. If you guys really want more, after this workout's over, do your extra 50. This is your workout. You choose. All right, so first exercise, body weight speed squat. So we're going to go as quickly as we can for 10. You guys ready? Set. Let's go. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Exercise number two. We're going to roll with push-ups. I need ten. Good. Once you hit your 10, if you're still working, that's okay. We're going to go lunges here. Plyo lunges. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, nine, nine. Last one, 10, and 10. All right. Good job. Mountain climbers are four. We're gonna do 10 on each side. Here we go. One, one, two, two, five, six, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, ten. Last one, fifth and final exercise. Finish out your 50. Line hop. So we're gonna go one, one, two, two. Clear your line. Don't step on the line. Four. Four, five, six, six, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Rest. If you guys are feeling crazy, I know some of you guys are hungry for some more. Go for another 50 if you'd like, or join me for a stretch for our last two minutes. You guys did an amazing job. All right, first stretch, hip flexor stretch. As we wind down, focus on that breathing, nice and steady. We're gonna squeeze our back glute, shifting our weight forward slightly and relax. Squeeze your back glute, shift your weight slightly forward and rest, good. Three, four, last one on this side. Awesome job, focusing on that breath. You guys are cooling down. Whew. We're thinking about that hard workout. You guys gave me your all, good job. Squeeze your glute, arm up, slight lean forward. Just a slight lean, that's all we need. Make sure you squeeze that glute. Three, four, five. Nicely done. Make that leg go straight here. If you can touch those toes, touch them. Hamstring stretch. If you want, you can scoop underneath to feel a nice big stretch. Scoop or hold. Hold for three, two, one. Let's relax and switch. Good. You guys came here and did what you needed to do. You got all 45 minutes done. You broke up your day nicely. You got a good sweat in. I want you guys to go refuel, rehydrate. Make sure you take care of those bodies too. Three, two, one. Good, shoulder stretch. 
and pull here right at the elbow. Five, four, three, two, shake it out and switch. Great job. So we just added a new class to the schedule. If you guys saw that already, pillar strength, that's one that we've had in the centers as well. It's a great 15 minute workout to hit that core, hit those much needed muscle groups that tend to, to not be activated throughout the day of sitting. So take 15 minutes to join one of us here around 2.45 Eastern. We typically have our pillar strength class. Be on the lookout if you guys are interested. All right, a couple arm circles to wrap us up. You guys did awesome. I'll stick around here for a couple minutes if you have any questions. If you wanna hop on, say hello, show me your sweaty selves. You guys did amazing. I hope to see you guys next Wednesday or sometime soon. Great job. Whew. I think I need another water break after that. Didn't get as much water as I wanted to for that workout. All right, Anna, great job today. Laura, great to see you. Josh, well done, buddy. Keep up the good work. All 45 minutes in today, guys. Pat yourselves on the back. That was a challenging one. You guys stuck through it. Kyle, oh, good to see you, man. Nelson. Hey, Rebecca, thanks for coming. Sandeep, great to see you. Bev, awesome job. Keep up the great work. Keep going strong. Real great job, Mike. Great to see you, buddy. Ooh. So good to see you guys staying strong, staying consistent. That routine is so important. Great job, Angela. That new one on the floor, maybe that reverse plank with the uh, the tricep dips and the, the knee drive. That's always an exciting one. I'll do it again here. It's so exciting. <laughs> I got to flip my camera. If you guys want to see that exercise again, I'll, I'll slow it down. This one here is the reverse plank where we push ourselves up. We drive the knee, knee, and then we drop down, hitting the floor, hit those triceps as we pop back up. It's a sneaky little exercise, pretty challenging. Let's see, the one on your back where you move from left to right. Which one was that? There's so many exercises that I had in here. Angela, do you remember which, which set I did? Was that a core exercise? Was it a strength exercise? Hey there, yeah, it was, it was a core. It was core, okay. Side to side, yeah, you went from side to side while you're on your back. Oh, so oh, yes. Short. The, yeah, like yes, the side, yes. Thing. I'll do that one again here, just to give you another, another quick view. So that one here, as long as you bring your heels close to your body, keeping your hands right along the mat, it's killer. That's a great one. And you try to keep your shoulders fixed as you rotate in the core. Yes, that's one of my favorites. I haven't done it in forever. I'm glad you called that one out. Maybe I'll sneak that into a future workout. <laughs> Thanks, Angela. All right. Well, I hope to see you guys very, very soon. I'll let you guys go. Get back to your, your work days. Hopefully, hopefully you're feeling nice and productive now. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.